In recent times, the world has been witness to two intense conflicts that have left a trail of destruction, claiming countless lives and causing extensive property damage. The first of these is the protracted and seemingly endless conflict between Israel and Hamas, while the second involves the ongoing tensions between Russia and Ukraine. Both conflicts have resulted in profound human casualties and the loss of property leaving many to question whether such strife can never lead to genuine development or whether it merely paves the way for destruction. The Israel-Hamas conflict has deep historical roots, with both sides locked in a struggle over territory and political autonomy. The clash has not only resulted in the loss of numerous lives, including civilians, but has also caused substantial damage to infrastructure and homes. The densely populated Gaza Strip has borne the brunt of the violence, with reports of schools, hospitals, and residential areas being targeted. The images of devastated neighborhoods and grieving families are a stark reminder of the human cost of conflict. In the West Bank, too, tensions have escalated, leading to further casualties and displacement. Simultaneously, the Russia-Ukraine conflict has been a source of global concern. The annexation of Crimea by Russia and the subsequent tensions in eastern Ukraine have created a volatile situation resulting in a significant loss of life and property. The conflict has displaced thousands, with communities torn apart by violence and instability. The impact on the economy and infrastructure has been severe, hindering the prospects of development in the region. The toll of these conflicts raises important questions about the nature of development in the face of such adversity. Can destruction on this scale ever pave the way for genuine progress, or does it merely set societies back? leaving scars that take years, if not decades, to heal? In the short term, the answer seems to be unequivocally negative. The immediate aftermath of conflict is characterized by shattered communities, displaced populations, and economic setbacks. The extensive destruction of infrastructure, homes, and essential services hampers the ability of societies to function and thrive. Moreover, the psychological impact on those who survive is immeasurable with trauma and grief casting long shadows over entire communities. However, history has shown that, in the wake of destruction, there can be a drive for reconstruction and renewal. The need to rebuild often catalyzes innovation and cooperation, fostering a sense of unity that transcends previous divisions. Communities can emerge stronger, having learned from the mistakes of the past and motivated by a collective desire for peace and prosperity. Yet. The path to development is fraught with challenges. Rebuilding requires not only financial resources but also political will and international support. The scars left by conflict, both physical and psychological, can impede progress if not adequately addressed. Furthermore, the risk of cycles of violence and retaliation looms large, threatening to plunge regions back into chaos. In conclusion, the wars between Israel and Hamas and Russia and Ukraine have inflicted significant human and property losses, raising doubts about their contribution to development. While the immediate aftermath is undeniably a period of destruction and despair, the potential for renewal and growth exists in the resilience of affected communities. Whether these conflicts lead to development or further destruction ultimately depends on the choices made by those involved and the international community's commitment to fostering peace and reconstruction. In an increasingly interconnected world, the collective responsibility to prevent and mitigate the impact of such conflicts is crucial for the progress of humanity as a whole.